Welcome to day one of finding the surface area of rectangular prisms. So we're going to start off by looking at this example. This shape is called a net and it is like if you took a cube, because we're talking about cubes today, you took the cube and you unfolded it, it would turn into the net. So each of these parts represents one of the faces of the cube itself. So, you know, because for each section here, each of these faces would be one of the sides of the cube. So let me show you an example. So this isn't a cube, but this is a prism shape. We have all these faces here. That's a face, 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 okay? So there are six of them. There's six faces. And as you can see here, there's six, <clears throat> there's six squares. So if we folded this back up, it would make a cube. And then there would be stuff in the middle. Now when we're finding surface area, we are talking about a two-dimensional measurement. This, the area of this square, plus 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 this square. So all together in a cube, there are six faces. So there will be six squares. And all of the squares in this example are three by three. So because we know it's a cube, this is also three centimeters. So it's three by three. So we can find the area of this particular square by doing three times three. So this is nine. Now, because it's a cube, we know that all of the faces are gonna be the same. All the sides are three. So this is three by three, nine, three by three, nine. This is three by three. You're seeing where we're going? So each face has a surface area of nine square units. So what we would do to find this is we would do three times three, which equals nine. And then we know that there's six faces. So we would do six times nine, which equals 54. So the surface area of this cube that has a net that looks like this is going to be 54 centimeters. And we're not talking about the perimeter, the distance around, we're talking about the area. So those are going to be squared. It's the flat part. It's how much shading would I have to do if I shaded the entire thing. You know, if you were painting it, how much surface area the surface the um okay so once again you would find if it's a cube you're going to find the area of one of the faces one of the sides if you will and you find that by multiplying three times three or whatever the measurement is and you get nine and then there's six of these one two three four five six so we do six times nine and we got 54 and 54 centimeters squared. Okay, so why don't you try doing some of those on your own and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.